Hey guys, welcome back. In this one, we're making some chocolate chip cookie dough truffles. These are gluten-free, dairy-free, and refined sugar-free. I got the recipe from Callas Clean Eats. I will link it below for you guys, but let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing I'm doing is starting with one and a half cups of almond flour. And this is the one I'm using from Walmart. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in a quarter cup of coconut sugar. And I just went ahead and broke up all of those large chunks just to make it a little bit easier to mix it in. And this one came from Target. Then we're going in with a quarter cup of melted coconut oil, as well as a teaspoon of vanilla, some salt, and one third cup of chocolate chips. And as long as you're using dairy-free chocolate chips, the recipe will remain dairy-free. So at this point, I realized that the dough wasn't quite setting. So I went back to the instructions and realized that I left out the dairy-free milk. So I went ahead and added in two tablespoons of almond milk and then stirred it up one more time and it was finally starting to stick. And then I popped it in the freezer for about 10 minutes. When it came out, I started to roll it into balls and this is what they look like. Then you wanna go ahead and get your chocolate melted. You need one cup of chocolate and one tablespoon of coconut oil. Then you just drop your truffles right into the chocolate and shake off the excess, put them on your parchment paper. And then I went ahead and did the same exact process for all of the truffles, but I did realize that the coconut flour was starting to kind of come off into the chocolate. So if you want to avoid that, you should probably put them into the freezer after you roll them and before you dip them. So once I got them all done, this is how they look. You can see the texture of the um, coconut flour on some of those truffles. It doesn't affect the taste, but just how they look. Then I went ahead and popped them into the freezer one more time just to let everything set. And when they came out, they look like this. And let me tell you, these are so good. They have no business being this good. Like, I don't know what kind of sorcery this is, what kind of magic this is, but let me just tell you, these are worth every single second they took to make them. They were actually really quick and really easy, and I 100% suggest you guys try these out. See you next time. Bye!